Coming up, we're building this. It's a... This cute and creepy Halloween project is a collaboration with Phil B. It uses the Teensy microcontroller and a TFT display inside of 3D printed parts to make an animatronic eye doorbell. You can get the parts and full tutorial to build this project from the Adafruit Learning System. The parts will fit on most 3D printers and will require some support material. The wings will work best in TPE filament like this purple colored Ninja Flex. Using support material will help print overhangs and it's actually pretty easy to remove with your bare hands. You can of course download and modify the parts for free, which is linked below. Use E6000 adhesives to permanently glue the two face halves together. Use a toothpick to spread the glue and be sure to let the parts dry for several hours. To make the circuit, we'll start off by connecting a slide switch to the LiPo backpack. We'll solder wires to the Teensy board and connect them to the LiPo backpack for powering and easy charging. Before connecting wires to the TFT display, we'll add solder to the pins. Trim off the connectors from a ribbon cable and solder them to the pins on the back of the display. Now we can solder these wires from the display to the Teensy microcontroller following the circuit diagram, which is linked below. We'll use a UV LED to illuminate the unicorn horn. Trim the leads short and connect one wire to each lead and then solder the wires to the Teensy board. Once we have most of the components connected, we'll upload Phil B's sketch to the Teensy using the Arduino IDE. We'll use a 16 mm push button to activate the winking function and mount it to the back panel. A second push button can be mounted and will be used to trigger the doorbell. We'll need to connect the wires from the push button to the Teensy board. Now we can test the circuit by pressing the button to make the eye blink. Place the display over the two push buttons. Insert the unicorn through the hole on the top of the face piece. Fit the UV LED into the opening of the horn and glue it in place. Lay the wings over the side of the panel and press them down to hold them in place. An acrylic cabochon rests over the display and it's held in place when the two parts are joined together. We can insert and fasten number 440 screws to the back panel while holding the two parts together. And now we're ready to install the doorbell. Common household doorbells are mounted with two screws, so we can remove it by using a screwdriver and replace it with the 3D printed mounting plate. Carefully connect the two wires from the doorbell to the second push button and stick it to the mounting plate. Flip the switch underneath the chin and watch it become alive. And now we have a one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eater doorbell, just in time for Halloween. So pressing the I will actuate the two push buttons, triggering both the winking function and ringing the doorbell, making a very creepy yet cute animatronic Halloween prop. All right, so there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're looking for more Halloween ideas, be sure to check out our playlist linked below. And don't forget to subscribe for more 3D printing projects from Adafruit. I'll see you guys next time.